This is Rebecca, the Steampunk Planner. And before I get started, I just wanted to wish everybody Happy Thanksgiving. I hope it was nice and calm or festive and fun. You got your shopping done safely after Black, uh, with Black Friday sales and everything. And now we're going to go into December. Still having a hard time with the fact that we're there. And this is the last Coffee Monster card for this year. So I'm still going to be doing the same as before. Here is a better look. And I'm not going to be rushing through everything. So I hope you don't mind. These are the vellums. And there's a reason why I'm not rushing through. I am actually going to be asking for your help. That is, I love this style and type of planner, painting, layouts and everything in sticker formats and vellums. I really love what Catherine does here and it's just beautiful. I am not into the pictures of other women and people that aren't me. That doesn't speak to me. What speaks to me is the beauty of this which is flowers, scenery, um, Things that are nice and calm. So my plea to everybody is let me know if you have any sticker groups that uh, companies that you love as much as I love Sterling Inc. I will still be getting this. Don't worry about that. I've just got more books. So here is the A5 vellum and then we've got the days of the week for December but November their days of the week did not get cut properly. So those were added to December's kit. They're beautiful. I'm so pleased that I received these as well. I will probably start using them instead of the December at first. I have plenty of planners for it. And the other thing that they did include is the deluxe kit was missing one of the stickers. So they sent that along with the two gorgeous stickers from this, for December. And I have yet to decide if I'm going to use them in my December layout. I have a feeling I'm going to be holding on to those for a little bit because these are just, I love this set. I love these stickers. This just puts me in a happy place. And... I love Sterling inks, but I kind of want to add more. So like I said, let me know. Here are the tabs. And then we have the freebie. And the deluxe kit comes with two scripts. So this is the print. And then we will have in a little bit the script. It's hiding somewhere in there. This is the month in review. And then Every kit comes with her card. Now, when I received my clear cover for my cards, I got a different one. Clear cover for my planners. I got a different card is what I was trying to say. So this one is the QR code. So I figured if you're interested, go ahead, take a look, see what you think. These are all hand painted. She paints these all herself. They're gorgeous. So here is the larger piece. Oh, there's the script one hiding and behind. But this is the large image for the month. And I'm definitely going to wait until uh, December, I think the 24th, 25th, I'm not sure which, in my dailies. So here are the larger sheets. And you have two beautiful sets with two beautiful um, pictures in there. And then a gorgeous uh, set of washi and corners and edge pages. And then we have frames. Just beautiful. I love the mailbox. She's got a different, the mailbox like in different uh, sizing and everything. So it's, I love those. And then she has the tear-off sheets. I think they're beautiful. We have the stripes, which are different sizes. So there's two different sizes on that, and I love that. 
and then the stamps. And see, there's that mailbox again. I think it's so cute. And then we've got the year, dates, and days. So all of that collected, I'm going to go on to the smaller sticker kits. And sorry if you're hearing like a low hum, my heater is going beside me. It is in the low teens now and we've been getting snow. So loving it, but yep, it's a bit cold. So I'm separating these out into their images, which I just, uh, this one I really love. Love that one. And then of course, all of the flowers and corner pieces. Just so cool. We are gonna do something a little different. We're gonna start in my work class book first off. Now I have different plans this month to try some more things out for 2022. And you can see that I haven't gotten caught up on the last week of November, mainly because I did take it off with my husband and we just relaxed and I I did my daily uh, memory keeping pages, but I have not done any of the other pages. So yeah, I'll get back to that. I know it's the first day of December at the end of this week, but I kind of want to decorate it for December. You know, it's the last month of the year and it's festive and I want to decorate it. So I'm going to use the foliage, which I love these pieces. I love how long and fluid they are. So I'm gonna add one up here at the top. And at this point, I'm gonna start quickly clipping through each of these. I hope you don't mind. We're gonna do one more for the bottom. I just need to find it, there it is. And that will go the opposite direction and then we will go on to the borders of the days of this week. Going to set tea. Well, you know I do coffee, so this is going to be my coffee tea. <laughs> and then more foliage, pretty, pretty stuff. I had to get those mailboxes in. Got to make sure those letters get out in time. And then, of course, for Christmas week, get the Christmas trees in. And I'm going to add the torn pages of the Christmas trees on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I think I'm going to do the bottom. We usually get together earlier in the day. We get together on Christmas Eve. And then that way we are all able to visit other parts of our families on Christmas Day or just have time to ourselves. So, um, yeah, I think the lower part was, was perfect. And then we have a couple days into the next week for New Year's and end of December. Are you going to be traveling this year? We're actually going to be staying and my brothers are going to be coming here. So I'm looking forward to having them over for Christmas and doing the whole family um, FaceTime gathering at that time. Now I'm on the month spread out and I love using the washi on this. And some of the washies don't fit because of the actual design, but this one fits perfect. So that's all I'm going to do in the month because like I said, I have some things that I want to test out in December and this is leaving me some room to do it. I will throw in a sticker here for the 25th. It's really hard sometimes to decide where you want to go and what stickers you want to use. Um, but I think this one is perfect. 
we get to see the snow outside. I'm hoping that we'll have snow on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. That'll be excellent. If not, that'll be excellent. No qualms there. Next thing that we are going to do are the tabs. And as you know, I switched the tabs back and forth. So the last one was the decorative tab. This one will be the print tab. And then it'll be different over in my memory keeping book. So now on the daily pages, since the tab is all set, I'm going to grab the script. Because when it's plain in the tab, it is decorative in the day of the month and then vice versa in the other book. So while I'm steadily putting this down, I do want to reiterate, I am interested in finding another company that I can do a subscription with. But I am not interested in designs that have women that have nothing to do with me and it's nothing to do nothing against the designers that do that this is just not me I don't want pictures of other women in my book sorry I don't but where I am happy and calm and enjoying this is to see someone's paint work and painting and um their happy place, you know, the architecture, flowers, everything like that. So I welcome suggestions. I do know that there are companies that have a lot of different things out there. So I, I'm, I welcome what you have to offer. This is going to be the next test that I'm going to be doing for 2025 in December. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the rest of the Coffee Monster for this month in here. Um, but just to let you know, we will be doing, or I will be doing, this design with you. I hope you are looking forward to something like that. I have forgotten, yes, I, it's still um, on my desk, but I have not had time yet to do the Shogun ink, which I will do. And I'm probably going to do it for December as the December ink. I hope you don't mind. I am also going to be using the Metamorphosis ink from Wearing Mule. Just a heads up. But I think I'm gonna do a specialty one for Shogun as I keep talking about it and haven't done it as of yet. So again, on the last day of the week, first day of December, I'm putting some beautiful foliage in just to mark the day. And yes, I still have to catch up on this one too. I'll be doing that this evening. So I started to put down my labels in the border for my habits and decided that I wanted to layer them. So I had to pull that one back up and then go to town on the other ones. Just trying to mix things up. This is the area of the book where it's a lot thicker than any other area in my planner. So I am kind of trying to jog these around. It's still going to be thick. There's no avoiding that. But I just figured play with it. Definitely. I did try to look at Two Little Bees, and their website is down. At least I didn't find one. It said it was no longer in operation. And I couldn't find them on Etsy, so I'm not sure what's going on. But I'd like to look into their stuff. Again, I haven't found it yet. If you know where they are, please give me the link below. That would be wonderful. So we're going to throw in a little happy people for the Christmas Eve gathering. And then now we're going to start on the days. And you know this pretty piece has to go in first. And then tabs. We got tabs. Ah, I had a little bit of stickiness right there. Sorry. And the print or typewriter set or however you want to call it. 
it's the non-script is going to go down first and then this beautiful big piece is going to go on the second page. Gonna center that puppy. I would like to have more larger pieces, um, especially since I will be having, using the B5, the larger pieces will be nice if I can get more of those. And as I finish this page up, I just want to say thank you again for joining me. It was a little quick and a little bit simple, but it's really, really pretty. I have a lot of work to do this evening to get caught up for December, but I thank you so much for joining me. I hope your December and your holidays are beautiful, whether it's Christmas or and I hope I'm saying this right, Hanukkah. So thank you so much. Have a great week and join me for the next fun with inks that I'm going to make.